Well, welcome back, Georgina. We have all sorts of cadets on the show today, and we are luckily enough to be joined by the Navy League cadets. So help me welcome midshipman, marshal, and leading cadet, Raper. You guys, your titles, I, they're, they just get me every time, but they're so beautiful. Like, yeah. they're perfect. They're yeah, they've phenomenal. Them. So welcome to the show, and thank you so much, guys, for coming and, you know, telling us about you. So. Can you tell us a little bit about what the Navy League cadets are? Well, we are a group that uh, meets on Thursday nights in Newmarket. Um, we have fun learning different skills related to boats and naval uh, traditions. Uh, we attend camps. We, uh, we teach the kids to learn how to work as a team. We build confidence. We teach the kids how to lead a group of other children. Wow. Oh, wow, There's that's a phenomenal. Lot. Mm -hmm. So, Liam, how long have you been with the cadets? I've been there for one year now, almost my second now. Wow, that's phenomenal. Yeah. You have a lot of um, badges. Yeah. How, how did you get them? I got this one from being on the semaphore team, which is like sending messages with flags. Got this Not one sure. yeah. for being like a regular, like, uh, the range petty officer. You want to shoot your arm up, up so that they can, can see it? The range oh, yeah. petty officer. Mm -hmm. That one for doing all the tagging shifts. For like, it's the merits badge. Yeah. Oh, wow. And this one for being the RPO. Wow. You, you, I'm, wow, that's phenomenal. And I take it there's more that you can collect as, as you earn them? There's a lot. Is there a lot? Yeah. Like, how many would you? I technically have five, but one of them. There two are supposed to go here at oh, the okay. same spot, so that's okay. There's only so much, much arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they only got so much arm. Uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> but your arms will grow. I'm I'm pretty confident that's going to happen to you. Yeah. So, what's the cost associated with joining the Navy League Cadets? Um, well, same as the Air Cadets, there is no cost. It is all uh, funded. Um, same thing that uh, children will get their uniform at no cost. Um, the only time that there may be a cost to any of the families is when we do camps or um, our fun nights. We do laser tagging, things like that. Oh and then there may be a small cost incurred for that. How much fun is that, laser tagging? We I do like that. Rock that's climbing. gotta be fun. Yeah. Have Are you been before? Uh, a couple times. Oh, wow. And what is your favorite part of being a cadet? All the camping trips. That's the really camping fun. trips? Yeah. Where do you guys go? We go to all different places like Camp Kirk and stuff like that. And what do you guys do there? We like, there's survival camps, there's winter camps, learning how to like oh, build wow. fires in snow. Oh. oh. So you go year round. Yeah. It's not just pouring gasoline on it, is it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go camping with Amy. Don't go camping with Amy. Future note. And what are the age limits for the Navy League? Mm, we nine. take the yeah, We take the kids from nine to twelve. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, do they have to be? When is registration? Is it a, a specific time of the year, or, or is it all year long? We run our program from the uh, first week of school till the end of June. Um, there's no specific time for registration, uh, their initial registration. Um, so as long as it's on their ninth birthday or after, they can come at any time to register. Oh. And how, how do parents go about registering their children? We meet every Thursday night at the Optimus Club in Newmarket, uh, which is 55 Foreign Avenue. And uh, we meet uh, from 6.30 till 9. And parents can, are more than welcome to bring their kids, drop in, see what it's all about. They can register at that time. That's and do parents come to these meetings too, or is it just the children? Um, our our parents are more than welcome to join us and see what it's all about. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers. We're looking for people to um, be a civilian instructor, to become an officer. We look for parents to uh, join our branch. So there's lots of opportunities for parents to be involved in, in our core. That's phenomenal. Yeah. I, I didn't know that at all. See, I mean, for, I mean, ideally it's great, especially at this age, that the parents can be involved mm -hmm. at the same time, have that experience with you, both the, uh, you know, both everybody learn. I think that's great. It looks like, you know, it's worked really well for you. Yeah, how's uh -huh. the cadets benefited you? Um, I learned how to survive if you're alone 
in the woods, like mm -hmm. no one's with you, like if you crashed a plane on an island or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. On an island with snow, because you could start firing the snow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a big accomplishment. That is hey. pretty phenomenal. Do you plan on continuing after when you're 12? Where do you plan to go? Sea Cadets. Sea Very Cadets. Very good. Yes. Mm. Phenomenal. That's pretty amazing. And then do you know what you want to do after that? Not really. Haven't got that far yet? No. I don't know what I want to be when I grow up either. No, so. I, I okay. told him that earlier. <laughs> Neither one of us do. We're all still learning. We're definitely, we're all still learning. Mm -hmm. So what if my child isn't eight yet, but turning eight in, say, December or, you know, um, you guys register at the beginning of September. So if they're turning eight or nine in December, then can they register at any time throughout the year? They, we cannot take them for safety reasons before the age of nine. Our okay. insurance um, has stated that they need to be nine. Um, so if we start our, we start our program in September. Mm -hmm. So if your child turns nine, say in December, you're more than welcome to bring them in um, as soon as they're nine, like yeah. even on their ninth birthday. Yeah, and there's no prerequisite to, to any them, you know, some people might think, well, they had to go to scouts or they had to do something else before they came to cadets. So they don't. No, nothing. No prerequisite. No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. And what about these summer camps and things that they do? How do how do they get? Do you have to be a cadet in order to go to the summer camps? We don't have. We only mm -hmm. run from September till June. Okay. So we don't have. We don't have camps in the summer. Okay. Um, I believe Air does, and I know that Sea do. Sea uh, Cadets do more of those summer type camps. Our camps. We usually do try and do at least two camps a year. So we do one um, in the winter, like Liam said, and then we also try and do one like May long weekend. We try and get one in there. Um, and you do need to be a cadet to attend those camps. Okay. But mm -hmm. that's the only prerequisite that you are part of our program. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And so you have one in the wintertime and, and then one in the May long weekend. Are these during the, are they like week long camps? Are they just weekend camps? Yeah. How, how long are they for? They're usually like weekend camps. Mm -hmm. So. And who cooks at, do you cook at these camps? No, some people from the branch come and cook. Parent people from the, yeah. oh, Parent Okay, so you're not starving. This is good. I don't want to And you to don't have to bring it. your own food and you don't have to like look for worms and stuff to cook on the fire that you made in the snow. No. No, no it's much like it's that? much better than no. Yeah, don't go I don't go with Amy. <laughs> Amy. Don't go with Amy. <laughs> I don't really do all that stuff when I'm out camping. I'm she just camping is like a cottage. Like I'll go to a cottage <laughs> camping in a bed that's not on the ground. Well some of our well, camps yeah. are in cabins, yeah. so you might oh. be okay. Okay. So you might hey. I could I could rough it. I was gonna say you could try. We played caps with a flag at the winter camp. Really? Yeah. It, well, what fun. is your favorite part about being a cadet? The camps. Just and, the camps? And, yeah, the camps. Now, what do you guys do when you all get together every week? When you're, when you're getting together, what, do you, what, what is it that you do? At your meeting. At your meetings. Oh, we usually do, like, our sunset and colors, so drill. Very good. Sunset and colors? Is that one That's of their... like Colors is the beginning of the parade and, mm -hmm. co and sunset's at the end. Oh, oh, okay. And how long is your guys' meetings for? Uh, they start at 6.30 mm -hmm. and they end at approximately 9 p.m. That's, that's, quite, that's, that's, that's a nice yeah. chunk of time. Yeah. That is a great amount of time for them to be able to spend together and you know get to know them and mm -hmm. what if children are a little bit shy or timid when they first when they first join well we take that into consideration and it also is broken up into groups so um, like Liam is a leading cadet so we have different like a different rank um, system and then the children are split up into their ranks so they are split up into smaller groups and then they're taught different things uh, throughout the night. So we start as a whole group, we end as a whole group, but then we split up throughout. So it's not quite so overwhelming. That's great. Yeah, that's, uh, to be honest with you, it sounds like uh, by the time everybody's done at nine o'clock, you're, you're looking forward to going home and, and, and getting some sleep probably at that point. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I would think so. so. That's a really, well, you know, you figure scouts mm -hmm. and things like that, it's, a, but that's a, that's a, 
good chunk of time to be spending together. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys have a lot to learn, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, in such a short period of time from, you mm -hmm. know, September to June. Yeah. So that'd be a big meeting. Now, what other fun things do you guys do? I know I got the laser tag down. So what um, other than, you know, give me the, the, the top three I love to do. Yeah. Camp, laser tag, and tagging. I like to do tagging, tagging too, yeah. What's tagging? Is that? It's the same as the Air Cadets. Like, we go out with boxes selling. The fundraising. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if it was the exact same for yeah. every single one of them. It yeah. is. And where's your favorite spot? Where do you find that you, you get most people to, to tag? Superstore. At the Superstore. Yeah. Everybody likes to come out there, eh? And do you empty your whole box? Do you guys like set goals for each other to see, you know, comp competition a little bit? Who can? I, I, I see, I like to, whoever I'm with, I like to see who can get the most bills. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh yeah, cha-ching, cha-ching, that's, that's all right. That's great, that's great. Hey, a little competition, no harm that. So, Let's just say for all of the moms and kids that are out there watching us today and they're maybe interested in joining cadets, what would you say to them to recommend for them to come to cadets? It's really fun and I think people would like it, so. So join and come? Yeah. And be part of you our cadets? Tell them. Yeah. Just, yeah, the more the merrier. <laughs> That's it. That's phenomenal. That's great. And when you move, what is what are you most excited about when you move from the cadets you're in now to see cadets? Um, sailing, yeah. Sailing? Yeah. Oh. He likes the water. You like the water? He likes the water. That is great. And which badge do you plan on getting next? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, yes. now there's a question. Their badges, are they in order specifically or is it child's interest? Child interest. See? I is it like a book and they just they had to pick which ones that they want to do? I think they just show the badges, and then you get to choose which one you want. To like, you to want to work towards, yeah. See, that's not good. That's, no, because at, at the same time, it, it nurtures their interest. It nurtures, yeah. you know, and, and you're learning at the same time, which is wonderful. And it gives them so, a goal to work towards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I take it, if there's a group of them, they work in, I take it there's some badges that might be group-oriented, or are they all individually based there's like competition teams there's seamanship first aid um semaphore and drill team like this stuff that you're learning i, I i'm it just never ceases to amaze me that the, what you're learning i want to be on a drill team yeah well I'm, th I'm just thinking between that and they're learning you know their, their first aid and all the other essential like t to actually you know make them as independent as possible and that's pretty impressive i mean that you should be extremely proud of Yes. Yeah. I mean, do you I feel proud of yourself for everything that you've accomplished? Yeah. It is pretty remarkable. I'm mm -hmm. pretty impressed. It is. It's dedication, right? I mm -hmm. mean, like, it's it's a complete different level of dedication as to, you know, just joining a club. It's it, it's serious business. Aw. Well, thank you guys so very much for being on the show. We've learned so much, and everybody at home definitely knows how to get in contact. And. You know, yeah. you just look so cute in your in your uniform. <laughs> I'm just eating it up. I love it. Thank you guys so much for joining no us problem. on the show. Join us after the break as we are joined by Sea Cadets.